Action. Alright, so let's go over our prototype. It's October 26th. Um, the motor drives this wheel here. So these, these are cam rollers here which push this arm down against these springs here. Now up at the top here is a limit switch that basically every 180 degrees tells us to stop again. So it, it rotates down, pushes this down until the latch catches and then gets out of the way. So if we go here to the latch, what happens is the latch gets pulled backwards and that lets the arm launch and that's controlled by a solenoid be behind here. We'll show that next. And so that when the arm comes up, this, this here is a rubber stop on, on there for the launch. So now if we go over here to the ball, this is our, our gate for the second ball. So when there's two balls in line, this is down. And as this comes down, this, this gate gets pushed out of the way. And that ball falls into the cut. This catches here. Now it'll, it'll launch again. And once it launches, this lifts up, lets the next ball in, closes it. The reason that this is not directly connected to this is so we can independently control the timing of this. So this is right on a solenoid. If we turn this around, we can just see there's the solenoid here that controls this, and the solenoid here that pulls our, uh, pulls our throw trigger back. Right now I think the number one issue we're dealing with is some issues with this gate here. Um, because it's pivoting about this, this point over here, that this kind of pushes the ball backwards just, just a little bit and rubs, and because this is rubber, not steel, there's some friction issues that we don't particularly like. There are a couple other ideas of having two, two pieces come to the side. We also previously had something that pivoted from this side and swung down. Um, there's, a, there's the idea of something on top that kind of rocks back and forth like that. There are about five different things we're kind of currently tossing around. So that's basically where we are right now. It's a very exact size. It's about as exact as ours. Wait, are you gonna do the mullet or just go shave? I don't know. <laughs> You're kind of making that decision. I am. Well, I might just shave it still, but right now I'm just. I think that it's just that clipper setting thing I have is maybe a little shorter than I want. Mm -hmm. so. But let me just grab that now one second real quick and see what happens. Maybe the big deal is that forward-backward that should have a little more leeway. 
and sideways is probably fine. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. A little, little over. This thing and make it into a loop like that. Yeah. Yeah, let's use that and we can make it an open really easily. I'm gonna see if actually on 24 volts these things might be able to lift these sprays without a problem. These sprays are pretty tough. So. This is every once in a while. This is the timing, sorry, the ball did fine. It was just like didn't quite get back in time. Most of the time it does. But I think it's just a little bit slow over here, it doesn't make it back in time. You can't you can't even see it leave in yeah, on can't. video. It's like watching golf. Somehow the cameraman always knows exactly where everything is. Or gives you the impression he does. Yeah, right. Great job. This is a close-up of the marimba key. We're going to shoot 10 balls and see how accurately they hit the key. There's powder on the key that will come off with each ball.